So I was wrong once again in my prediction. I had uh, Jamal Charlo getting <laughs> Juan Montiel out of there early. Um, I was way wrong, all the way wrong. The shit went 12. Jamal came on on top. But I must say, um, Juan Montiel showed a lot. And I'm pretty sure after that fight last night, a lot of people are going to say Jamal Charlo was exposed. See, I look at a lot of things different from a lot of like... Um, I don't. I don't. I know. I'm not. I'm not a casual boxing fan. I, I've been watching boxing since I was a kid. Um, there's boxes I don't know about. There's a lot of shit I probably don't even know about. There's a lot of shit I don't know. Um, but one thing I do know is I have an eye for things like this. And for a lot of casuals, they'll look at this fight as okay. Well, he got smoked by Montiel. Montiel knocked out. Um, Got knocked out by uh, Mongia, so that me Charlo couldn't get him out of there. And Mongia did, and then they'll say um, Charlo got exposed because he got hurt, or he went twelve with somebody that got knocked out by Mongia. Yada yada yada. You know, shit never ends. I've done seen the comments already. Um, I'm not really in. I'm not really even a big fan of Jamal Charlo, man. There's a lot of funny style moves he made in the past, like you know. I don't care what nobody say. He kind of, he still kind of ducked Benavides, even though they're not in the same weight class. But he called him out. When you call somebody out, regardless to what weight class you in, as far as I'm concerned, and then you don't follow up on your shit, you you ducking. That's what it is. But um, let's talk real quick about it. Early on, matter of fact, not even early on. The whole fight, it was just, it was action from from the start, man. Montiel. If you look at Montiel, look at his body shape. It looks like he don't have any kind of power. He just looks weak and don't have no real muscle tone to him. But he definitely has power. He definitely has some power, you know, from the knockout ratios. But then you got to understand something. When they, I, I brought this up. When it comes to knockouts, man, a lot of these boxers, bro, a lot of their knockouts are from early on when they career. A lot of them. I don't care. It could be Charlo, whoever. A lot of their knockouts are early on in their career. Then when they step up. They don't really get the knockouts like that this, as much anymore. Most of them. I, I'd say with the exception of Terrence Crawford, man. And that's another topic for another video, man. I'm starting to really see the truth when it comes to this Bud thing, too. And I think a lot of these dudes are scared of Bud. And I'll, I'll talk about why in another video. But anyway. Um, the fight was a great scrap. Montiel showed a lot of grit. Now, Charlo does have power. And... He was eating them shits, man. He was eating his shots. I hardly seen Montiel even wobbled. I seen him hurt a few times to the body. I think I seen him a little shaky, but nothing where he was like spaghetti legs all over the place. He hit Jamal with some hard shots, especially the body work he was doing to Jamal. I think Jamal, like I think, what round was that? I think the sixth or seventh. Jamal felt some of them body shots, man, and slowed him up a little. He started backing them all up a bit. But Maul is a dog, too. He was taking his shots. I've never seen Maul dazed in that fight. See, the average person with the average eye, they look at it as Jamal went 12 with Montiel, so that means he's exposed. I look at it as he went 12 with Montiel, and the person he went 12 with gave him good work, and he survived. And he wasn't even just surviving. He was scrapping it out, banging it out with him. That's called adversity, and you just get better from there. Um, but the thing is, Jamal Charlo, he he thought it was a, it was gonna be a cakewalk. A lot of people thought that this was gonna be an easy fight, and he got he underestimated Montiel. He, Montiel did his thing in that fight. That doesn't mean Jamal Charlo was exposed, though. You know, but we have to we have to find out uh, moving forward. You know, uh, how good really is Jamal Charlo? But he showed that. He got a, the chin is on. You can't deny his chin. And then you see people with the chart with the Canelo, oh Triple G. I'm now I'm seeing the Triple G comments now. Triple G smokes him. Canelo don't put him in there with Canelo. Canelo would have KO'd him. You can't say that. You every fight is different. You can't say because Montiel was hitting Jamal Charlo with some flush shots in the body. That mean Canelo gonna stop Charlo to the body. That doesn't mean that. It's just kind of like. What they were saying with um, Jorge Linares and Devin Haney. So, because Jorge Linares hit Devin Haney flush and didn't knock him out, if Tank or T.O. hit him like that, that's going to automatically knock him out. I hate when people say that because that's far from the truth. That's furthest from the truth. 
all right and we have proof of that in many fights that's not the case and um definitely though it did show jamal charlo needs some uh, some more tools in his shed he got to learn how to adjust a little bit better he could have got uh montiel out of there a few times man he had he could have got him stung him to the body moved around he could have definitely got him up out of there but all these people talking about charlo couldn't even knock him out but mongia did bro listen mongia knocked him out at 147 sometimes the boxers move up to get the punch resistance goes up with him he's at 160 now he coming in the ring heavier than 160 fight night his punch resistance is going to be substantially different than that 147 pounds do you think jaime mongia could knock out montiel at 160 well i don't know we'll have to see one day right all right so you can't say because um charlo couldn't get him up out of there um that's just what it is man i mean charlo's a power puncher man but all his fights is not going to be knockouts he's not like jamel jamel's style is much different from charlo's from um jamal jamal ronnie shields got him more of a, like he's more of a boxer puncher jamel is more of a uh Jamel has more tools, I think. J Jamel is like a boxer, puncher, brawler. I think Jamel got like three different uh, attributes. He has one other attribute more than Jamal, I think. That's why you see Jamel probably, get, he's getting more stoppages and stuff like that than um, Jamal. You know, uh, but nonetheless, he won the fight, man. That's what it's all about. He hung in there and he wasn't just like, you know, it, it's damn, it is true, man, what they say about boxing, man. When you, when you're not having a good night, you people gonna find everything. When Devin Haney got rocked. They say he was holding on to Linares. He was surviving, which was a lie. Then Charlo started having problems with Montiel. He wasn't holding on. He wasn't smothering. He wasn't holding on to Montiel. He hung in there, and banged it out with him. Oh, look at that. He got exposed. He, he can't hang with. It's just like, yo, bro, what can you do? Then Charlo, and then um, Wilder, he gets all the knockouts. He's exciting with the knockouts. Oh, he can't box. Then Devin Haney, oh, man, he all he want to do is move around. He can't, he don't, he's scared to get hit. Then we stand there in the pocket and get hit. Oh, shit, he got hit. He got wobbled. He got exposed. I was like, yo, man, I, man, I know if I was a boxer, I'd be telling my fan, i tell them dudes out there, man, fuck all y'all, man, because I'm doing this for me, man. You know what I mean? I ain't here to make y'all motherfuckers happy. Y'all motherfuckers ain't paying my bills. Y'all ain't gonna take care of me with my fucking, with my, my brain. My brain is rattled and shit and I can't talk right. You know, you motherfuckers gonna stand here. Y'all not gonna help me, bro. You know? So, I don't know, man. The boxing fans or so-called fans are some, some of the most disrespectful motherfuckers, man. But, um, nonetheless, Charlo got the win. Moving forward, though, he defended his title again. What is Charlo gonna do in this division? I, I I don't know. I don't know what's going what what is next for Jamal Charlo. And I'll talk about that in another video. But shout out to Juan Montiel for giving it his all. Shout out to Jamal Charlo for defending his WBC belt. Um let me know what y'all thought about this fight, man. I catch y'all later on the next one, man. Like, subscribe, and support the channel. Peace out.